first time that I saw him, I didn't understand. Why would he walk right into a crowded bar with the Bible in his hand? The bouncer had seen him first and he wanted to put him out the door, but he still wore the scars from days gone by when he tried that once before. There was a time when he was one of their regulars and to those who knew him best, a vicious barroom brawler, a drunk and demon possessed. In and out of jail, bound for hell, no hope beyond the grave, he was still serving time for a violent crime the night that he got saved. He was baptized by the prison's chaplain inside of a maximum security cell. Two guards seen the change that God had made in his life and they both got saved as well. Released on good behavior, right back into the lifestyle from which he came. But a man that once made Satan proud now preached God's holy name. Yeah, the barroom crowd was restless and loud, as they'd been so many times before. But the noise began to silent when he walked to the center of the floor. And when he asked for everybody's attention, no one made a sound. There were a few that stood up with their backs to the wall, not knowing what was coming down. And he said, I don't mean to criticize you, to judge or condemn. Only our Lord, our God, has that right. I'll leave those things to him. That's when he opened up the Bible and he drew a strong, deep breath and then began with the words for all his sin and the wages of sin is death. Only one man stepped up to oppose him and he said, Preacher, you're in the wrong place. And he sat back down and said, I'm sorry, sir, when he recognized his face. From inside the walls of the devil's playground, where no saint had ever tried to breach, and to a group of lost souls and sinners, he tried his best to preach. To the depressed and the addicted, and to those who lived in fear, so many had lost all self-respect then there were those too drunk to care. Still the word of our Lord shall not return void. And while his voice stayed strong and loud, when he preached from the words that Jesus had said, there wasn't one dry eye in that crowd. In his quest to reach the lost, he was not alone. God's anointing covered every word he spoke, calling all sinners to come home the power in his message and the spirit in the air he preached redemption and repentance before ending with a prayer then he said thank you to everyone for listening it was just before last call when he turned to leave I followed him one saved was worth it all